Hello everyone, welcome to my video on structures. Today we're going to learn about how to incorporate structures into our projects and condense a bunch of information down to a single variable. So let's get started. To make a structure, we can right click in the content browser. Under blueprints, the very bottom we'll see structure. Click that. We can call ours for the sake of naming convention, st, let's call it unit information. So unit info, open that up and you'll see this window. So to briefly explain, you can picture a structure. They're essentially a collection of variables of all types. They can be text, they can be booleans, they can be floats, all condensed down to a single variable that we can transport. So in here, this is where we can actually create or edit our structure. So what we can do is we can do new variable. We'll throw a couple of them in just for the sake of example. And you'll see that each one starts with a type. It has a name. If you do the drop down, well, there's a way to set a default value. So we'll start with changing this one to health. We would think a health would be a numeric value, so we can go to, let's say, integer. We'll go this one, and we'll call this maybe name. A name would be words, so let's go with let's go with the name type. This one may be, let's say, gun type. And maybe a gun type is a reference to a 3D model. What we can do in here is look for static mesh. And lastly, material. So we can look up, so we can do uh, care texture. So change this boolean to, let's say, a texture 2D. And there we go. We can, we can set the default values here. So maybe the health starts at 100. The name starts at, I don't know, Bob. Gun type can start at a cube, and this can start as the mannequin normals. We can just pick four random ones. Now, how to implement this into a blueprint is quite simple. We can save that. We can minimize this. And for the purpose of testing, I've created a basic actor with a skeletal mesh component. So for now, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to go to the variables right here. I'm going to call this unit info. And after you compile, if you go to the variable type and look up your new struct, it'll appear here. So click that, click compile, and you'll see all of the default values that that struct was created with that we assigned. So the benefit of doing this, as you can tell, if you set all those default values in the structure itself, all the actors that or blueprints that will use that structure will start with those values. But you don't necessarily want things to start with the default value. So you can leave those empty and then per actor set it manually. Cool, so we have a bunch of information. They're all condensed down to this single unit information variable. And what's even more interesting is let's say if we make this public by clicking the eyeball here or alternatively clicking instance editable, clicking a pile. Let's look at our level. So I'm back here. So I have two units right here. If I click this guy, in the details panel, you'll see under default unit info. I can now, in, by per instance, set the information of each unit. So this guy could be called, let's say health 125. His name is Steve. And we'll keep those for that be default. Unit two, however, could be 100 health and he could be Bob. But they're the same blueprint. But now I'm able to act, like collectively access multiple things of information and set them manually each time. And if I want to transfer them, all I have to do is reference this single variable, which is awesome if we ever want to move you know, large scale things across different blueprints. Other implications of this, or other ways to use it, is if you're making inventory systems, each slot would have its own item information structure. Units, units are a great way, or AI in general, are a great way to contain tons of information. And even if you have like game states, states that retain a bunch of information about the game. That's it. Simple lesson on structures. Thank you for joining me. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to support the channel. I certainly appreciate it. Have a great day, guys.